Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So I'm sorry, I was hoping my cold would go away, but it's still here. So sorry, just bear with me. Um, so I'm really excited today. We have a great announcement. So um, one of the things I just want to make sure it is where I want it to be. So it's in, it's going to be under settings inside the location. It's going to be in labs. Um, and then it's going to be, ah, right there. Okay, so check this out. So today we are announcing the release of the first round of authorized.net payments integration. So the why behind this is, you know, we use Stripe internally here at High Level and honestly have never had any issues with it. But at the same time, you know, what we want to do, right, is reduce friction for anybody who you're talking to that has an existing payments vendor. Authorize.net, for those of you who don't know, um, we didn't choose them because necessarily they do offer their own payments, but that's not really how they came into being. They really came into being by working with a bunch of different other merchant gateways. So think about it like this. Let's say you're working with a customer that has like Wells Fargo as their merchant provider. Almost always those types of folks will have a, a tie up or an integration or the ability to integrate with unauthorized.net. And there's another one called NMI, which is also coming uh, in the next month or so before the end of the quarter. Um, but basically the idea is that you meet those people and they say, well, we already work with Wells Fargo. We don't want to use Stripe. You say, no problem. You can still use your existing Wells Fargo payments and you're going to use them through this authorized.net connection. So anyhow, today is the uh, the release of that into labs. So if you go into um, any of your sub accounts, you go in and you can see right here, obviously we have the show more and you can read all about this. Now, real quick, um, this starts off, it's going to work on one step, two step order form payments as along with upsells. Now, other payments for invoices, calendars, memberships, and text to pay will continue to be processed via strip for now, AKA the team is working on it and we'll have the other stuff released here shortly. Anyways, all you got to do is, Flip this switch on, and then when you do, you roll over to, um, where do you roll over to? Um, integrations, duh. Um, and then I think, hold on, what am I missing? Uh, hold on, give me two seconds, be right back. Oh yeah, hold on, I think, I think that's how it used to work. Um, way back in the day. So now you go to payments and then integrations, sorry. All right, let me move my big head. So anyways, right here, you can see this, um, how to find our keys is linked, so links to the help article. Uh, live login ID, all that wonderful stuff. Um, if you pop open help.gohighlevel.com, you will see that there is a, um, uh, whoops, that's not what I was looking for. There we go. There's already an article that covers all this awesomeness. Um, so you can check that out. Let's go through some screenshots here. Um, obviously you can see, uh, you know, for the, you can see here in the payments, you can see it says authorize.net. It gives you all the information just like it would for Stripe um, and all of the, um, ability to cancel and all that awesome stuff. Um, so then if you come in over here, you search authorize.net. Oops, I can't spell. Well, luckily they figured that out. So authorize.net on order forms is a whole help article on how to how it all works. Um, and uh, man, they did a great job on this article, you can tell. Um, it even gives you the ability, shows you how to do like testing and stuff with test cards and everything. So anyways, just huge props to the team. I think they did such an amazing job of this. Um, and so anyways, if you have questions as usual, let us know and, uh, you know, hopefully um, I'll be like a little bit more, um, less raspy on my next video. So um, anyways, I hope all of you are having an amazing Wednesday and we'll talk soon.